Yo, what is up guys? My name is Cold Lefty, and today we will be doing the One Chunk Challenge. And for those who don't know, the One Chunk Challenge is pretty much just building something only within one chunk of Minecraft. And I believe a chunk is 16 by 16 blocks, so if we do F3 and G here, we can see that I have pretty much already outlined what building space we are going to be limited to today. So that means these yellow walls here, I cannot place anything. That's right, anything outside of this barrier. And today we're going to be attempting to build a castle and see how good we can create it. So we should get started. Obviously, the limitation we don't have to worry about is building up vertically. So we're going to try and take advantage of that while still making our build look good. But let's get started. So I'm going to start by making the walls of the castle because that makes the most sense. So I'd say we should start with a stone cylinder here. And how about the radius? being three and then the height being five. Oh shoot I forgot to make it hollow all right let's add that h in there so it's hollow and did we build outside of our limitations yes we did so that is very unfortunate let me undo that okay I guess we'll try a radius of two and see what that looks like I think the magic number is gonna be like nine probably yeah that looks about good so let's just do that everywhere so now we can copy that uh cylinder command here as well as right here okay so this isn't terrible um it could be worse just remember ladies and gentlemen it could always be worse so now let's start on our walls i'm just gonna make that stone which is pretty simple i've made a castle similar to this in my other videos you guys should go check it out it's a good watch let's start on some of the details here so what type of little like indentations or details can we make in our castle walls okay yeah uh speaking of that i think this is a little design i'm gonna go with it's pretty simple just a block here slabs in the middle and then a block here so let's just do that to every part of our build and boom so this kind of looks goofy the towers are pretty bulky considering the space we're working with and i don't even know if we're gonna have room for a central tower but we're limited here so that's what we're gonna work with now it's time to detail our towers a similar way so i kind of like something like this perhaps maybe we can add a slab here on top of it to just help with the depth but i don't think that looks the best so let's just do a slab here just because it kind of works with the small scale that we're working with all right it's starting to come together and i'm very proud of that so now that we have the main areas done how about we work on our door now our door it sucks because we should have like a drawbridge theoretically but we literally cannot build outside of that so we have to keep that in mind and it looks like we are working with a two block wide center so that is going to have to be incorporated into our castle now nah, that does not look normal ladies and gentlemen i think we're gonna just have to change it to that which sucks for real but i think we can add some depth to this door all right cool i actually really like this door we kind of made it work so that is awesome all right uh let's move on to our towers now so I'm gonna clear my inventory right there and I think we're gonna go with spruce planks which are definitely my favorite planks and that'll kind of be like the floor for our tower so let's just do that everywhere and now we're inside the tower here I would have a staircase but these towers are so small that it just makes too much sense to use a ladder so that is what we are going to use and how about we just put it in the corner here all right simple enough we take this ladder up here and now we're at the wonderful top of our absolutely impressively massive castle in that case we should start working on like the flag of our build so let's get a spruce fence here and i don't know what color should our flag be let's do something crazy how about we do like i don't know purple wool or something that could work let's try it out so we shall build our pole here and if you guys don't know how to build a flag or something like that here's a pro tip for you so i like to build up a fence here and then start my flag pretty much i don't know how to how else to say it just attach it to the the fence here here and then kind of build it out like it's getting blown in the wind so to do that you kind of want to add some depth to it because you don't want it to be just a straight flag like this it looks pretty hideous right what i like to do is place the block a block backwards to give it some depth like the wind is actually pushing through it and as you can see here now we have a nice looking flag that really highlights this puny ass castle and i'm actually going to try something here i'm going to see if i can improve this uh flag post by adding like stone wall which 
I don't know if this is working. Um, I like that. So honestly, that's pretty much all we're going to be doing on the surface level. But like I said, we're not limited to anything vertically wise. So I think it's time to make a really nice looking like dungeon or something. But actually I lied. We should probably work on this central area first. So I'm trying to think everything a castle has and it is not all going to fit in this area. But the most important thing is a king in a castle, right? So a king needs a throne. We should build one of those. But because this takes up so much space, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. So realistically, a castle has like a whole village inside it. But I think this is just going to be our little own personal castle. I mean, come on. If you had like an entire village in here, you'd be violating some type of overpopulation law or something like that. So let's just add a nice little storage system here. It's not the most, but it's going to have to do. And of course, we need our crafting station, so we shall do that on this side and have our storage there. All right, crafting table, furnace, anvil, ender chest, jukebox. Everyone's got to be able to play fire tunes. But yeah, so we finished this area. We need to make access points for our towers, so I think we're just going to do something like that. That looks pretty okay. And then I'm going to have one of these towers go down. To the dungeon i really don't care which tower we use so let's just start building the dungeon right here all right dope so this is the area we're going to be working with i think we should have like a little dungeon area so how about we make this actually let's make this whole floor stone brick because well it's a dungeon of course we have to use iron bars here as well for these uh these prisoners that we're going to be having so i'm gonna just make all of this iron bar and then figure out a door design in one second all right i think i found a design i like but we sadly can only fit two cells so if more than two people come for us well we are probably screwed but i guess we could just make them share a bed i mean it's prison who cares? All right, cool. I think we're done. So I have a little furnace station here, kind of like a crafting station here too, with your anvil, your crafting table, and your lovely chest. And then got to represent the purple again by having these banners down here. I think that pretty much completes our castle other than this one final thing that I wanted to do, and that is randomize these blocks. Now this is kind of an advanced world edit command, but I covered it in one of my last videos like I mentioned earlier, so make sure to watch that if you need help for this part. So I think this castle would look a lot better with like cobblestone, maybe some mossy cobblestone in the mix, so how about we replace all this stone by using world edit. So I'm thinking we're gonna do like 40% cobblestone, right? How about 20% mossy cobblestone? And then for the last 40%, I don't know what we should do. How about we try andesite? We can always undo it. Okay, so I'm definitely not liking the andesite. So let's uh, let's quickly undo that. Perfect. Let's try a different combo here. Let's say we want to keep some of the stone. So let's do 40% stone, 30% cobblestone. And then how about 10% mossy cobblestone and 20% and a site. Honestly, this is something I can dig, so we should keep this. So this is looking pretty good, but I want to add a, a few more details here, just a few small ones to really make the build look good. There's obviously some lack of depth here, so I'm going to add some windows with some iron bars actually to our towers. Perfect. All right, sweet. Now we have this little area to work with, and I'll add a few little details here. I'm pretty much doing the same thing I did at the entrance and kind of just making it look like this area of land is worn down because, well, obviously it would be if it's been built on and lived in for a while. Now I'm just going to fill in this gap here that I made solely for aesthetic purposes because I don't think a castle would have just a absolute crater right next to it and voila here's the final product so this build was very fun to make um i'm really happy with how it turned out i probably could have added some even more depth like along these walls or something but we're just gonna keep it like how it is i'm pretty satisfied considering this is in only one chunk of minecraft i think one of the best parts of this build is this fancy archway i made for our entrance and this area in the center here is probably the lamest just because we really couldn't do much since this is such a small area we're working with but our towers turned out really nicely i added like two layers here too so you can kind of see out and then of course right here when we walk down to our dungeon this is where the magic happens
that's pretty much it though guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to like it comment and subscribe if you did enjoy by subscribing you are becoming part of cold nation and i do a lot of chill stuff here whatever video game it is so make sure to subscribe and chill with me in future videos oh yeah and i almost forgot the nighttime view so here it is at night it ain't too bad i could live here if i really had to but that's all i have for you guys today so my name is cold lefty and without further ado this has been the one chunk challenge you guys have a good one Thank you.